So this is a very short tutorial to show you how to prepare your body and how to get into a half shoulder stand, a shoulder stand or a plow pose. So these postures are commonly used towards the end of your practice or at the end of your practice to turn your spine upside down. And what this does is this allows fresh blood flow straight through the body, stimulates your thyroid, your pituitary gland, um, your digestion, strengthens your abdominals, your glutes, your thighs. If we go into plow, it really lengthens the hamstrings. So it's a really good full body posture. Um, also gives you a little bit of time, a bit of quiet time for yourself, um, whilst obviously your spine is upside down and your body's in a position that is working against gravity. So it's a really nice, calming, grounding, nurturing pose. So to start you off, we're gonna warm up the back. So we're gonna come into rolling like a ball. So bring yourself on your bottom, bring the soles of the feet about hip distance apart at the front of your mat. And then hold onto the back of your thigh. So draw your belly in and lift through the spine so you're nice and straight. We're going to take a breath in and out to start. Just to settle. Settle the mind, no worries, and then take a breath in. And on the exhale, just roll back. And on the inhale, roll back in. So the exhale takes you back. And the inhale brings you back up again, feet on the floor. So do that a few times. So exhale back and inhale up. Just getting used to the feeling of rolling back, getting the feeling of coming up, using the stomach muscles. Exhale back and inhale up. Now when you've got used to that and you want to go a little bit further, you can exhale back and when you inhale up, just keep your feet off the floor. And then exhale back. Inhale up, feet off the floor. So use your stomach muscles to really draw in and keep those feet off the floor. We'll do one more. And uh, inhale back up, lovely. So now we're gonna come into the shoulder stand. So bring yourself at the front of your mat. If you're ready, take a breath in. And then on the exhale, get momentum. So roll onto your back, just like you did before, but hook your bottom up. Put your hands towards your back and shuffle your shoulder blades underneath. Bring yourself into a ball, get comfy. So take a few breaths in, no rush. Support your back with your hands. And then when you're ready on an exhale, lengthen your spine and allow your hips just to sit in the palm of your hands. So you've got this 45 degree angle with your spine. Loosen off the lower belly, hollow the lower belly, lift up the ribs and open the throat. And then when you feel ready on an inhale, allow the feet to go up. Heels together, push at the balls of the feet. And then when you're here, just close your eyes. So you're in this like on its side B shape. And you can close your eyes now and take a few breaths. So you're strengthening the wrists. There's no tension in the throat and you're just letting the blood flow all the way through the body. This is a half shoulder stand. Lovely place to start. Now take as many breaths as you want. Six is good. If you're gonna hang out here for a couple of minutes, it's really good, but take your time. And then when you're ready to come out, you take a breath in. Exhale, knees into ball pose. So lift that bottom back up. Cross your ankles. And with an inhale, take a roll. You'll find you come straight up into cross-legged. Enjoy that breath in as it cleans through the brain, the sinuses, the heart, gives you a lovely flush through and settle back into your position. Now, if you wanna come into a full shoulder stand, I'll show you that. So same entrance, take a breath in and then exhale when you roll back. Bring yourself into ball pose, maneuver your shoulders underneath, get nice and comfy hands to support your back. Take a breath in. Take a breath out. Settle your mind, calm, find your sukha, so get easy. And then with an inhale, allow the feet to go straight up. So this time you're going as straight as you possibly can. So supporting that back, pushing through the balls of the feet, making a lovely line from the toes to the ankles, to the knees, to the hips, to the throat. Close your eyes and again, just breathe. This is a full shoulder stand when you are straight up. So same benefits, it's just the blood flows a lot quicker. 
more direct. And then from here, if you want to give a plow a go, bend your knees, bring them into your forehead on the exhale, and then inhale, take the toes all the way out. Now you can use a cushion to start with to, to put your feet on that cushion once you've got them over. So bring them onto something. It might be a cushion, it might be a bolster, it might be the floor if your hamstrings will allow. And then when you're here and you're comfy, exhale, interlace the fingers and run them along the floor. Now again, close your eyes, feel the breath, bring the heels together as much as possible and just allow the shoulders to open, the spine to grow and the hamstrings to lengthen. Then close your eyes and just notice the breath. Only come into this position if you feel you're ready. Otherwise stick with a half shoulder stand or the shoulder stand. And to come out, we're going to support the back with our hands, bend the knees, bring yourself back into ball. Take a breath in, take a breath out. And then with the inhale, release the back, roll up, cross the ankles, take your breath in and then settle into your exhale. Just notice the changes as you get all that fresh blood flow. So I'm going to close it there. Namaste. If you've got any questions, email me, message me, let me know and happy practicing.